Hello, welcome to the St. Jay's tutorial on the GimKit website. That's where we make our game quizzes that are showcased at the end of our religious education online classes. It was the hit last year and many students have a lot of fun and learn pretty effectively by playing these game quizzes. But it's a website that uh, does have an administration page to it and there's a whole lot you can do with it. So I just want to give you a little tutorial of that. So you can go to gimkit.com. Now my browser is already set. Oh good, it's not gonna automatically sign in. So I'll show you how that would work. Um, you can go to login, since we do have an account. Now uh, you can do your Google or just go to the email. Now the account is with my Google account, this david at ourladyofgracema.org. So I'll click on that and then I think it'll recognize me and sign in. Now, if it asks you for a password, it's the same password as my Google account. So here you go. This is the administrator page, and we're on the kits tab. Now, the, a kit is the website's name for the game quiz. So we've made a kit for every chapter or lesson of the Multiple Catechism. Volume 2 is for grades 4 through 10, and volume 1 interspersed here is for grades one through three. Um, so this is the whole horde of lessons that we've created over the past year and a half. And uh, there they are. You can click on one and take a look. You can see all these kind of questions that are asked in this kit. You can click on one and it shows all the kind of answer options and it highlights the correct answer. So you can take a look at that. If you ever wanted to uh, edit one of the questions or answers, if, if you found a mistake in it or wanted to change the wording, you can select edit and then click this little pencil icon next to the question that you want to edit. And then you can click all done once you're done. And that's good. These uh, have a great capability where you can create classes Go down to that Classes tab and create a new class if you want to. I've created classes that correspond to every grade level that we're offering across the collaborative, and I did not separate them by parish. I just kept it all together. Uh, it's much simpler that way. To click on the class, you can then see here's the link that you could share with anybody who would want to join that class. But as I showed earlier, that link is on the parish website. And if you go to religious ed and online classes, you go to the drop down menu, let's say you're in first grade, you go here, look, step one of these instructions is to create this account on GimKit so that you can enter the first grade class. That's the exact same link as this one right here. Now you can go into members and see who has already signed up to be in this class. And that's good to know. And invites. Oh, that's great. I think that's if, if some a member is requesting that somebody else be invited. I've never had to deal with that. Uh, now to go back on the site, you can click this GimKit icon up there. So these are the all the different classes. Good, I'm seeing some confirmation members have signed up. That's very good. Now if we go back to kits, if you'd like to assign a kit, like for instance, let's go down to where lesson one would be, oh, I saw a lesson one. Okay, here we go, volume one, lesson one. Let's say you wanted to assign it. You press this assign homework. It says, which kit would you like students to practice? This one. You can select here the classes that you want to have complete the assignment. So if it's a volume one lesson, so I would select levels one, two, and three. A due date, you can pick a due date, change the time of day. Uh, and the due date shows up, so when parents and, and children see the, the lesson, the kit, they'll see when it's due, so that'll help them. Target cash. This is uh, the game works that you get money for every correct answer. So you can set this so that the kit will only last as long as it takes for the student to get this amount of money. Usually I put it to 1,000 because 100,000 takes, takes a while. Um, I go to show advanced options because there's also a time limiter function here. I usually try to cap the amount of time that a student could be 
playing this game quiz at 10 minutes because we don't want to have them be playing for too long. Um, this could be adjusted though. And then I would say create assignment, but I won't do that because I already have done that. And you could see that here under the assignments tab. I've actually already assigned all of these kits. It has a little when they're due, so I could click on this one. I assigned volume two, lesson 37 to all of these following classes, grades four through 10. Um, I can see the, the specific links for each class in case someone for, for some reason couldn't get into their GimKit account, it just wasn't working or glitching. You could email them this direct link based on what grade they're in, which class, and which lesson, which kit they need to do. Um, so that's there. Now if you wanted to see some results, you could click uh, any of these classes on the left here, and it'll give you a, a little summary of who's completed and what percentage and which questions they got right and wrong. It's very cool. I'm gonna go back and see actually under these assignments, we go to the very beginning uh, where we have lesson one. Okay, this is showing some of last year's assignments. We do a while ago and should start up again with, with lesson one anytime here. Oh good, volume one, lesson one. That's what is being assigned. It's, it's due on October 23rd. I'm gonna see if anybody from level one has completed. Oh, it looks like they have, look at this. Yeah, 12% class completion because Braden B completed this October 17th at 9.34 in the morning. It says he completed by reaching the time limit. 91% accuracy, so 91% of the time he got questions correct. Look at that, that's great. None of the others have started it yet, that's okay. Let's view the report, look at that. So, 29 answers correct, three incorrect, pretty good. And you can look at what those three were. So the green here is showing how many times this question came up. Um, looks like this question came up three times. So they answered it correctly twice and incorrect once. Um, and it's showing there that, so that this question, they got a 67% accuracy on this question. So this is awesome because it puts right up top the questions that were the most difficult for this student. So you can say, all right, what do I need to reinforce most in the next kit that I make or the next in-person class that we teach? And it looks like he got 100% on all the rest of these questions. That's great. Okay, good job, Braden. So you can be monitoring this as, as you go along and you can select which class you want to look at. Looks like nobody else has done it. Yes, oh, we got an Amy B and an Emerson T have also done it. Looks like they did pretty well also. Look at that. So we'll go back to our main page here. That is um, the basics of the kits. Now, if you wanna look at the profile, go up to me. We can see under settings, kind of the name that's associated with this account. I have it as St. J's Collaborative. The email, this could be changed. You can also change the password. That's it under there. The next important thing is billing. So we have subscribed for an automatic annual uh, cost of $60. So the first one it's showing our history here was uh, in 2020, a whole year later in 2021, paid 60 bucks again. Uh, the payment method was the Our Lady of Grace MasterCard that was in, in my name. So it'll keep coming out from that card unless we change the payment method. And it looks like the next charge is slated to be on August 31st of 2022. That's gonna come out automatically unless we cancel it, which we could cancel down here below. That's that. Now there's a cool function that you can search for kits. Any kit that anybody has ever made, you can search for. So let's say we wanted to um, find a kit about, well, let's say, Catholic Church, oh, who knows what we're gonna get here. Right, you can see all these people, someone named Jeffrey Voisin created a kit with 10 questions about a year ago on the Roman Catholic Church. Oh, let's take a look at it. He's testing what these words mean. Okay, cool, must be a Catholic school teacher or something. So you can actually, uh, if you wanted, you could click on that. You could play it, you could export it. So you could, um, using some of these options, you could you could make your own kit using some of these things and then assign it to 
students at the parish. So there it is. That is a tutorial of Gimkin. Thanks so much.